In today's lesson, we are checking out how to play Through the Valley by Sean James. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Naylor and on this channel we're all about guitar song lessons by request. I get you up and running playing your favourite songs as quickly as possible with on-screen chord boxes, tabs, slash rhythms, strumming patterns, the whole works. So if you're new to the channel you might want to consider subscribing. So today's song was requested by viewer Derp Hacker, thank you Derp. If you have a request yourself you can put it down in the comment section below. So I'm going to take you through both the picking patterns and the strumming that occurs later in the song. And if we can get ourselves to 500 likes on this video, I will release a tab on my website for you to download. 500! You can do it! So let's zoom in and go through the song. So looking at the chords you need for the song, we have an E minor. A minor. And a B7 and 11. Now with the picking pattern, Firstly, it's in a shuffle feel. Check out the video popping up in the card if you don't know what that is. And we have a three note pattern. We're picking what strings one, two, three. Now, because it's a three eighth notes, we don't have time to get three full completions of that pattern within one measure. So we can do the pattern twice. One and two and three and, and then we have four and, so it's strings one and two again on the end. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. But what we're doing with the thumb, the thumb is grabbing the bass notes and we start the first pattern, the thumb is on string six. And then when it repeats, the thumb moves to string five and then finishes on string four. You're going to probably want to spend quite a bit of time in that just to get that up and running in whatever picking um, variation is best for you. That's what happens on the E minor chord and that's done twice. And for the A minor, the picking pattern is the same except the thumb is going to go bass on the fifth string, 5-4-5. Five, E minor again. So we have the B7 and the picking pattern is going to go with the thumb. It's going to be 5, 4 and 3. It goes up to string number 3. And on the second measure of the B7 there is a strum on the end. We kind of strum the chord in the intro. So put those two measures together. and then back to the E minor. A minor. A minor. And then in this last B7 measure, we kind of bass, strum, hit the strings, that's the crosses, they're dead notes, and then we come back up. So it's one and two and miss up down up back to the E minor. And the picking pattern on the bass notes just on that intro part is kind of reversed. It goes six, four, five, six on that E minor there. The verse number one at 37 seconds, the picking pattern is very similar to that. Sometimes you find that he changes the picking patterns a little bit on each chord, but what I've done, I've kept it all consistent um, to closely match the introduction part. So on the E minor, and then the A minor, we're going five, four, five, four, five, with the thumb, carry on. With 
that B7, you're going to go 5, 4, 3 with the thumb. It carries on in the same way, E minor, A minor, and then those picking patterns will be the same as you go. Basically, the progression is the same as the intro. So I'm going to put that all together for you. Verse number one, 37 seconds. <laughs> And that is basically repeated for verse 2 at 1 minute 14. And then verse 3 from 1 minute 50, we go into a strumming pattern. And the pattern that you've got is kind of across two measures. Grabbing the E minor, it goes like this. So it's 1, hit, and, and, hit. Because we're coming out of a picking pattern, I just use my fingers instead of grabbing for a pick. I like to use my index finger. So that's the pattern across the chords. If you look at the A minor measure, though, we have this. Where we hammered on from the and of beat four into the one of the second measure. One hit. Note the NC, that is stands for no chord, and that is those instances where you're changing chords and strumming at the same time, so you're sort of hitting open strings. That's what that means. So the whistle solo at 225 is basically the same thing. Let me run you through that one as well. One, two, three. Fifty-nine, then verse 4 and the outro again it carries on in a similar way you just look out for kind of the chords being held towards the end and we start to slow down we slow down into the ending so it's going to go like this Okay guys, that was the song, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, maybe drop me a little comment. Put your song request also in the comment section. If you click on the link beside my head, it will take you to my website, you can find out more, and hopefully the tabs if we got those 500 likes. Subscribe if you've not done so already, and here are a couple more videos for you to check out. Alright guys, you take care, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!